guys. Um, it's 54 degrees. Wind's a little cool, so uh, I'm just brought you down here. I wanted to show you something. Um, I'm down here at the park behind Food City, Derrick Park, because in front of it is the river that we talked about yesterday. It runs all the way down through here. Well, this river is where where we're standing, where I'm standing right now. Look behind me. See? There's a boat bridge and stuff right there. Anyway, um, this is where they would stop coming from up there. Now the one, they'd make a stop here to deliver a few things. And uh, whenever they'd stop here, you keep in mind behind me, the park, Food City, the highway, McDonald's, all led up through there was nothing but, you know, like log cabins and woods. That's all it was, was woods and like dirt paths or whatever. Anyway, way, way over in there, there was a log cabin, like a little log cabin house. And people would go there and have worship service, you know, like on Sundays and stuff. Anyway, whew, out of breath, people. Anyhow, they, uh, all of the, the people in this area would go there. And whenever they would go to drop off their goods down here, it, this place was, they'd always say, where, like, where do you, where do we stop to drop off the goods? It'd be like at the place with the church on the hill. That's where Churchill got its name. And I'm going to take you to that church to show it to you here in a minute. But uh, And it used to be a log cabin. But what I wanted to show you, it's this direction up here. If I can, if I can get it right now, that way, right up through there, leads up there, all the way where all the wood mansion and all that is, and the uh, port at Netherland Inn, all that. But this over here, the government purchased all of that. And some of that over there. That's where hosting defense comes in. Anyway, this is a nice little park down here. People walk their dogs and they're, you know, bring the kids down here in this little baseball field over there. But the only bad part about it is behind this playground is uh, where they do like sewer treatment stuff. So in the summertime when you're down here and you're at the playground, uh, it's just not, it don't smell too good. You know what I'm saying? And you'd think they would invent something. If we got to breathe that crap, somebody should invent something to at least make it smell good. Anyway, here's something I found that's weird. It's not weird, it's something odd out of the blue. Check this out, I'm here in this water. Wait a minute, I'll go over here and sit on this rock. I'll let you see. Let you look for a little bit the water going by. See that stick? I don't know if you can see it in the middle of the water. I can't tell. Looks like a stick person dancing on the water. That's how my mind works. Anyway, check this out. You can see. Yeah, look, it goes all the way back through there. Look at the mountains, hills. We do live in a pretty place. A lot of the people don't make it pretty though, some of them. The old trees, look how big around they are. It's a quiet place. I know, my kids hate it when I smoke, but sorry. Walk over here a little bit. I'll let you look. This is where the boats come in. The big, big boats used to pull up right here. This area. But I'm gonna take you to that little log cabin 
It's Willie Cooper Jr. Boat Ramp. That's what the boat ramp's called. Anyway, I'll be right back. Hey, I'm at the church. Um, I'm going to take you walking around, but I wanted to give you a few uh, things that I forgot to mention a while ago. From here to Rotherwood was woods, complete woods. They was like trails because they rode horseback and stuff back in. Well, a lady that was, it, it's like his, Rotherwood is tied to everything. It's like a focal point and everything just sprung out from Rotherwood. Anyway, um, there was a Mr. James Dobbins who um, was the first mayor of Kingsport and the first Board of Education guy. His name was Bennett. That's where Dobbins Bennett come from. Anyway, he was a, like a big wig, the Dobbins guy. He was friends with uh, Frank Ross and all, all of them big wigs. Anyhow, he, um, his wife, and I'll post a picture of her. Everybody called her, uh, Mama Dobbins. But I think her name was Mary, if I can remember correctly. Anyway, I wrote a lot of this down so I could tell you about it. But I'll do that in a few minutes. But she would ride side saddle from Rotherwood to this little, it used to be a log cabin, once a month for a women's meeting and all this stuff. But they would have church. She had, they, it formed a church is what it done. My ghost is back. <laughs> anyway, um, she formed like a William, a, a women's, um, like auxiliary kind of thing. And, and she was, she helped get the church up and going. But I'm going to kind of give you a view. Now, keep in mind, this was all woods. There wasn't no roads. It was just like trees, no houses, just trees. There might have been a log cabin or two, you know. But um, the little log cabin that the church was made from sits up here on this hill. That's where Church Hill gets named. Anyway, I'm going to give you a little walk around. The wind's blowing kind of heavy, so I hope it don't mess up the volume thing. So, you ready? Let's do this. All right, here we go. Now, I don't know if you can see, but that is Church Hill. See? I'll walk down here in a few minutes, but I'm going to show you. built and redone five times. Look how pretty this is. This is really cute. Isn't that cute? It's just the prayer garden. Sit over here might block some wind maybe. The part that's behind me was like the log cabin. Now the church back then posted, they purchased the land, uh, some land where that white house is in, which later became the Sendon house because the lady that lived there and her husband's name was Sendon. But I will go to the car here in a minute and I'll tell you all the other details that I wrote down. It's hard to remember all that stuff. It goes back to 1909. But right here is the front steps. Let me show you. Oh, there's the bell. See the bell? A lot of this stuff was donated to this church by its members. See the steeple? There was a lady donated money for that steeple memory of her husband. That cool. 
anyway, this little part here was the log cabin. Sorry about my <laughs> It's crazy. Anyway, my papa. Oh Lord, they're coming for me, look. Anyway, the railroad goes right in front of here. And this is First United Methodist Church. There was three denominations joined together and made this church. Now my papa's little place, I'm gonna show you where it was at if I get down there without breaking my freaking neck. Hang on a minute, people. <laughs> Come up here a lot and play basketball. Basketball, go over there. You go down this way. You should go down this path all the time. You can see these steps here. See the steps? I don't know if you can see them. I can't tell. Anyway, let me go down here. I'll show you. It's Churchill. See, there's steps here as you go down. I always thought that was pretty cool. They had steps over here, you know. I used to sneak up here and smoke. Long time ago, long, long time ago when I was young. Wait, hang on, people. Okay, now, we're at the railroad. There's the railroad. See? That railroad goes way up to there. Which you know that, but anyway. My papa had a, see how the house is, I mean the church is a bunny hill. This part right here was a little log cabin house. And it's been redone and redone and redone, you know keeping it up to date. This was at la later added, this part, the big part. Anyway, my papa had a TV shop that sat right there, right in, down over this bank, sat right there. And there's the White House, I was telling you about. It's the red light. Now keep in mind, all of that was just like woods. There wasn't no roads or nothing like that. Well, eventually they built other churches, you know. Now if I can get back up this bank. But anyway, <coughs> excuse me. They built other churches in Churchill. Don't get me wrong. It's not the only church, but there's a sticker bus. Wonderful. Anyway, they, um, this was the first one. And this is where Churchill got its its name because it's it was a church up on a hill. I keep also remember uh, people who had to ride horseback to get here. They later added uh, another parcel of land up here, which made it uh, where they could put the playground. playground and a little picnic area. It's part of the church. Isn't it pretty? And now they have a daycare, which my grandbabies go here and they absolutely love it. They really do. I think it's cool to put kids in daycare so they know how to deal with people before they get to school. In a car. Can you see the playground now better? Uh, sit there, it's the playground, and there's the picnic area. 
There's the basketball goal. Actually, it used to be two basketball goals right there. I don't know where the other one went. Another thing that the, uh, they later designed was the clothes closet in Church Hill. It's part of the church that did that. And they still have supplied over a million dollars of stuff that has benefited the community. In a car wind about mom and dad. Goodness gracious. Ew. I need a do. <laughs> Best thing I ever made. It came from John City. I may do a story about that. You know where it originated and stuff. Oh, anyway. Whew. Let me catch my breath and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> well, I got my list. I wrote it all down so I wouldn't forget nothing. Okay. This place actually, before it got its name Church Hill, was called Hamilton. Because a doctor had uh, purchased land here from Cherokee Indians. He was a doctor, so they, because his last name was Hamilton, they called this place Hamilton. Well, later where he, uh, the women's auxiliary and all of them got the name changed to Church Hill because it was the church on the hill. Okay, and that was in uh, 1845. In 1909, the Women's Society, they held monthly meetings, like I said, that was organized by Miss James Dobbins, and I'll post her picture. Um, in 1948, the building had been redone for the fourth time and brick was added. Now, back then, brick was a big deal. This was the first brick building in the, this entire area down here. Okay, um, yeah, 1995 is when they started the community clothes closet. Uh, and Miss, um, Dobbins died in 1951. But see how it's all connected? She would get her horse that she rode down here from Rotherwood. Because he did that. He was into horses and stuff too, you know. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I like walking. It's good for you though. Get out. And uh, old Puxatawney Phil, I reckon he didn't see his shadow which means early spring, which is good, I guess. But that one year he lied. I don't trust him. Anyhow. But see how everything's tied together and how everybody, everything come about. And they got the railroad through here, which is one of the things that they really tried to do. All them, like, they knew getting it, the railroad through here would really build up this place. They knew that. And uh, there's a guy that um, lived at Allendale Mansion. He was in with all that, but I'm going to do a story about him later, which will tie back to all these other stories. But Churchill, over the years, this right here, before the big highway come in, my ghost is here. I might just give him a name. If you come up with a name for my ghost, let me know, will ya? We'll just name him. We can call him Nicholas. I, we can do that, or I don't know. Whatever you want. Um, but this town used to be like Kingsport is. Busy, 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 you know, with people shopping and there used to be a radio station and a diner and 
They got the post office. You know, it was a big thing. Well, the highway come through. They built the highway, and that just kind of wiped out Churchill. All the small businesses, you know. And they don't allow liquor by the drink down here, so they don't have any restaurants down here where you can have, like, beer with your food. So people get in their car and they drive to Kingsport where they can do that. I don't know why they do that, but that's the way they do. Uh, I don't know. It's just, I see it dying, Churchill. I really do, because they, they never... There's nothing here anymore. It's like the people that are here just gave up. One good thing, this church has stood the test of time from a log cabin house to now, and it has a, a daycare, uh, you know, like a pre-K for three and four-year-olds. And those ladies are amazing with these kids. They really are. I've seen them, and I know them. They're good people. But, um... I don't know. It just makes you wonder. There used to be a grocery store, too. It's called Harper and Lad. It used to be right in the middle of Churchill, right, right down the road here. Well, it's gone now. It's part of another church down there. They've got, like, let's see, one, two, three, three big churches here in Churchill. But this one that I'm at right here was the first one. This is where Churchill got its name from. The Church on the Hill. And I'll post, you know, pictures and stuff. But, like I said, it all ties back to Rotherwood. All that stuff does. And see, like Dobbins being at high school, while she was doing all this stuff, you know, riding side saddle all the way down here from Rotherwood. Can you imagine that? That's pretty far away. From Rotherwood all, all the way down here to this church. And then all the way back. Side saddle. Back in those days, women didn't ride a horse like normal. It wasn't proper for a lady to do that. Women rode side saddle. But this lady would ride side saddle down here to these meetings and stuff. And while she was involved with all the ladies' auxiliary meetings and all this stuff, her husband and was up there working with... Um, Frank Ross and all them, you know, trying to build up the town, get the railroad through here, trying to do all this stuff. And that's where Dobbins, being at high school, come from. They got it built, and it was a little tiny building. And now it's humongous building, which is awesome. Uh, I mean, it is a cool school, and their uh, marching band is amazing. And um, anyway, but when I was a young girl, I used to come up here from down at my papa's, where my papa's TV shop was, I'd come up here and play basketball on that go over there when I was like 13. I used to go over and play ball. Sometimes my brother would come up here too. Anyway, you can just go right down this hill and out that road and there's the little park where I went the other day. You know, this all really connected the whole thing it surprised you <coughs> excuse me how everything stemmed out of one little spot which was rotherwood because back then rotherwood was the big major deal and, and it was brick so for it to be brick back then you know it was something a gravel driveway you know that was unheard of on dirt roads if you had a gravel driveway, you somebody. <laughs> anyway, he had that guy that owned that had 500 slaves and they had a chauffeur and a cook and all this stuff. But there was a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of love invested in everything, getting all this together. And they also had a man uh, by the name Eastman came from somewhere else down here because Mr. Dobbins got him down here. Miss Dobbins' husband got him down here and uh, 
they took him hunting and fishing and all this stuff, you know, showed him around and uh, got him interested. And he bought all the land where Eastman Chemicals Company is sitting. That's where Eastman, the plant Eastman, got its name. It was from Mr. Eastman. No joke. Look it up. Anyway, that brought wealth to our region. It brought jobs for people, you know. That helped, it, helped out. Then they founded the library. Getting books up in these mountains way back in, that would have been almost impossible. People back then was thought to have been stupid or crap that lived in the mountains. Because they didn't have no books that much, you know. They had to hire school teachers to come over here and teach people. That's the truth. Uh, Miss Dobbins came up here. Let me tell you this. All the trees and stuff that they planted at Church Circle, and I'll do a story about that too later, which will tie back to Rotherwood. But anyway, um, Miss Dobbins also was over the agricultural thing. When they first did the church circle thing and planted trees and stuff down through there, all the trees and the flowers died. So they hired this lady to come up here. Now, at this time, she wasn't Miss Dobbins. But she came up here and she, to be uh, a teacher plus a uh, work in agriculture. But she told them, like, you got the wrong, you've planted the wrong plants for this region. So she went and got walnut, spruce, uh, all these other kinds of trees. And a lot of the streets in Kingsport are named out because of those trees, like Walnut Street, Chestnut Street. If you look on the signs, you'll see. But anyway, she planted, I had them take all them old plants out, put all the new trees, and that's why, um, like Broad Street and all that, you see trees everywhere. You know, when they built the churches. Now, Mr. Phipps also had a church. I told you about him, the slave driver. He um, had a church at Church Circle, but he also had a small little church at Ross Campground. And I did a story about that a while back, where they moved the dead people's headstones but left their bodies He's the one done that. Had them do that. But anyway, these churches everywhere now. But I don't know. Well, I'm going to get me a drink and head up the road. And I really hope you guys have a great Sunday. I'm just going to sit on my booty and not do nothing today. That's what three weeks for, ain't it? Gotta take one day to yourself, don't you? Anyway, anyway. Oh, yeah. Well, let me show you one more thing before we leave. Hang on. Hang on. See this fall? I don't know if you can see it from here. Wait a minute. Give me a second. I can't see because the sun's shining on my phone. There's a white building down there. Those green doors beside some trucks. I don't, can you see it? That used to be the main gas station. And then it became a garage. There used to be a pool hall over here too. I remember that. It's gone. Completely gone. There used to be a, a building. Hang on. There used to be a building where that red light is across the road. That's where a diner was. Goodness. They had a diner across the road. It was a big building. They had where they go over and purchase clothes and stuff. And they just tore that whole building down. It's gone. Anyway. Well, I hope you have a good day to get today. Oh, look at my head. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Peace.